These young people are campaigning outside a shopping hall in the Neukölln district of Berlin. It's a working class and left wing part of the German capital. But they are handing out information packs for the conservative Christian Democrats. In Germany, there's no Bernie Sanders, no Jean Luc Mélenchon, and no Jeremy Corbyn. Instead, Opinion polls show that young people here will vote mostly like their parents and not even very different to their grandparents. It might simply be down to the strong German economy. In Germany, we have much better chances for young people. Education and training are good. We simply have good prospects compared to other countries. But low youth unemployment might not be the full story. These CDU volunteers had just started school when Angela Merkel won her first election in 2005. Since then, she has been dealt with a seamlessly endless list of problems. The financial crash, the euro crisis, war in Ukraine, mass migration, Brexit, and now Donald Trump as president of the United States of America. Merkel has been a calm voice for these young voters throughout most of their lives. Over the last 12 years, the Chancellor has acted calmly and correctly in each crisis, like the Euro crisis or the refugee crisis. And I think this feeling of stability and security is very important to a lot of young people. She looks to the future and acts with a political and sustainable goal in mind. It's sometimes easy to forget that Merkel is leading a Conservative Party. The CDU and its Bavarian sister party, the CSU, were opposed to same-sex marriage until just a few months ago. And the parties often campaign on conservative ideals, such as law and order and family values. But at the same time, Merkel has adopted more left-wing positions, such as ending nuclear power and, of course, support for refugees. Some people think this has made the party more acceptable to the young people. Put it this way, when Helmut Kohl was at the end of his chancellorship, he wasn't particularly liked by young people. That's not the case now. With Merkel, it's acceptable for young people to vote conservative, because she herself is very moderate. The party is not so much, but Merkel is the public face of the party, is a very moderate chancellor. But where does this leave the opposition? The Social Democratic Party is doing well among young voters. A lot of young people show up at Martin Schulz rallies and the party is running a youth-orientated social media campaign. But it might not be enough. The Social Democratic leader Martin Schulz has just started speaking behind me. He was supposed to bring in new young voters to the party, be a Macron of Germany. But according to opinion polls, Angela Merkel's Christian Democrats are still leading among young people. So what went wrong for Schulz? The young SDP activist here at a rally in Potsdam think he has not had the chance to make himself known. Uh, most of the young people that are interested in politics tend to focus on things at the national level. Martin Schulz came from the European Union. He was the president of the European Parliament. I just think people don't know much about him. And now he has this short time to get known by people, and he hasn't really been able to do that with young people. Schulz entered the German election ring with high expectations when he was elected head of the Social Democrats. We'll find out on September the 24th if the initial enthusiasm of what became known as the Schulz effect becomes reality when he goes up against the Mike of Merkel and the CDU at the polls.